What's up, guys? This is Pro Warriors, and today I've got something insane for you. Imagine playing your favorite PlayStation 2 games right on your Android device. Yes, it's real, and I'm not kidding. This is not clickbait. You can literally see me running PS2 games at high graphics and smooth 60 FPS, and guess what? My phone only has an entry-level chipset. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to set up the Ether SX2 emulator from the best settings and configurations, to control customization, and even how to install install your PS2 games. This is a complete tutorial, so stick around till the end. Let's get started. Before we get started, let me give you a quick update. The Ether SX2 emulator is no longer actively developed and has been removed from the Google Play Store. But don't worry, there's a new fork called Nether SX2, which is originally ported from Ether SX2. Let's install Nether SX2.0. Fortunately, Nether SX2 is available on GitHub and it's actively being developed. The current version is 2.1, and updates are rolling out quickly to make it even better. You can clearly see the new improvements, and it definitely feels like one of the best PS2 emulators for Android right now. More stable revival of Ether SX2 finally giving PS2 fans something solid to play with again. Once downloaded, simply tap to install it like any other APK. Now let's launch the app. We're going to see a welcome screen from this emulator. Just click on the next button and the next page is just going to give us some disclaimers and instructions. If you have time, you can read or click the next button. Now we are going to see the settings page. If your device is high configuration, at least Snapdragon 845, then you should select optimal slash safe default. If you have a low-end device, then select fast.unsafe default. Enable the expand to cutout area to ensure the maximum screen area is utilized. Emulation screen orientation is landscape, aspect ratio stretch fill screen. UI language, obviously English. You can also try the dark theme, which looks premium and gives the app a sleek, modern feel. API OpenGL or Vulkan. It's up to you. Upscale multiplayer means it will increase or decrease your native display resolution, but I prefer to use 2x. Now you can click on the next button. On the next screen, the app will ask you to import a BIOS file. Just tap Import BIOS and navigate to the folder on your device where you've placed it. Make sure you're using your own legally obtained BIOS. As you can see, our bin file has been imported. Click on Next button. Next, the app will ask you to select the directory or folder where your PS2 games are stored. Just tap on the plus icon, navigate to your games folder, and then click Use this folder to allow Nether SX2 access to your phone storage. Disclaimer, the emulator itself is legal, but using illegal ROMs is not. I do not support or provide access to pirated games. Please use legal copies for your own safety. Then click on Next button. Our primary setup is complete and you just want to click on Finish. You can see our games are now displaying in the game Liberty and you can switch to List to Grid mode by clicking this icon. You can notice that Games has no cover. We have to upload the game cover, so click and hold on Game and you can upload the cover from here. You can also download game covers from GitHub and change the background to make the interface look more realistic. It's really easy and works perfectly with Nether SX2. Let's start a quick game. As you can see, the game is going to launch within the Nether SX2 PlayStation 2 emulator. At this point, if you click on the menu at the top left corner, you'll find options like Load State to continue a saved game and Save State to save your progress at any point. You can also toggle the frame limiter to adjust game speed and switch between Vulkan or OpenGL in the settings for software rendering. Click on the gear icon to customize your game. You'll notice just how powerful this emulator is. You can tweak settings while playing any game. Make sure to turn on Show FPS and Show Speed to monitor performance. In the Graphics tab, you can change the renderer sometimes some games perform better in OpenGL. You can also adjust the resolution to improve performance depending on the game. If you click on the Controls icon, you can customize the touchscreen layout, like adding a dual analog pad or adding chart removing buttons. You can also move or resize buttons if needed. Nether SX2 supports controllers via Bluetooth or USB as well. This is just an introductory video. If you want a full tutorial showing the best settings for Nether SX2, leave a comment below. That's it guys. If you want to watch something like this, please like and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video. Take care.